Hey guys, welcome back to Rowan's Math Club. Today we'll learn how to change a percent into a decimal. So we're going to be having a percentage and then you're going to learn how to change that into a decimal with two simple steps. So step number one is to convert the percentage into a fraction and then we have to divide the numerator by the denominator. And if you don't know, the numerator is the top number of a fraction and the denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. So you take the top number divided by the bottom number and you have your decimal, okay? So our first example is 56%, okay? So step number one says to convert the percent into a fraction. Now we know that a percent is out of 100. So 56% tells us that it is 56 out of 100. Okay, so step number one is done. Step number two is divide the numerator, numerator by the denominator. So the numerator is the top number and you have to divide that by the denominator which is the bottom number. So now there's two ways you can do this. So the first way or method one is to do long division. So you take the numerator and divide it by the denominator. So you take 56 which is your dividend divided by 100 which is your divisor. So we know that 100 cannot go into 56 because 56 is smaller than 100. So you will add a decimal point and then add a zero into your dividend. 100 goes into 560 five times and you are left with 60. You can add a zero and now we have 600 so 100 goes into 600 six times and you have your decimal number of 0.56. So that's really simple, right? So this is 0.56 from method one. But most of us would actually probably prefer method two, which is actually kind of a shortcut, okay? So now let me show you method two. So in method two, all, you don't really have to do this whole long division process. Just take your um, fraction, so 56 out of 100, so this fraction is telling us that there is a total of 100 parts and we are taking 56 of them. So 56, we all know, is a whole number itself, right? So in a whole number, the decimal point is always at the end. So the simple way that you can find your decimal number is to move the decimal point from right to left, the number of zeros in your... Um, what's it called denominator right so in a previous video we learned about dividing from multiples of 10 now we know that 100 is a multiple of 10 so all you have to do is count the number of zeros in that multiple so we know 100 has two zeros and move it the move the decimal number from right to left that many times so since 100 has two zeros we'll take this decimal point and move it twice from right to left so one two and you have your fraction of 0.56. So most people would prefer this because you really don't have to do all that division, just simply move it from right to left, okay? So you'll still get the same answer, but you know you can do whichever method you prefer, okay? So that's problem one, number one. Now let's go ahead and do another example. So now let's say we have 5%, okay? So this is a small percentage, only 5%. So that's Steps remain the same, so 5%, change it, change it into a fraction. So percent means out of 100. So 5% is the same thing as 5 out of 100. Now you have to divide the numerator, which is the top number, by the denominator. So method one is going to be long division. So if you divide 5 by 100, we know that 5 is smaller than 100, so you're going to add a decimal point and then a zero. Now 50 is still smaller than 100, so you're gonna have to add a zero in your quotient so that you can add it into a dividend, okay? Now we know that 100 goes into 500 five times. So we have our decimal number of 0 0.05 or five hundredths. So from method one, and you'll get the same answer from method two, but it's just simpler because all you're doing is moving it from right to left. So we have five out of 100. Five has the decimal point at the end. Now 100 has two zeros, so move it from right to left. 
two times. So if you, when you move it to twice, you have one and two. But as you can see, you have a gap here. So what do you do when you have a gap and there's no number in it? Well, you just have to put a zero. So that means you still get 0 0.05 from method number two, okay? So now our third example. Now in this one, there is actually another shortcut. So what if you have, let's say 70%, okay? When you change this into a fraction, it will become 70 out of 100. Now, when you are dividing, here is a simple way. So for method one, you have 70 divided by 100, right? But before you do any division, you can actually simplify this so that's easier because when you simplify, you're really reducing the numbers. So the smaller numbers you have, the easier it is to divide. So if you cut out one zero from the numerator from 70, you can what, cut out one zero from the denominator, which is 100. So if you cut out one zero from both of them, it's 70 out of 100 becomes seven out of 10, and 7 out of 10 is way easier to divide than 70 out of 100. So you can do 7, so let's just leave that as it is. So 7 divided by 10, add a decimal point and a 0, 10 goes into 70, 7 times, and you have your decimal of 0.7, okay? So that's just another shortcut. So when you have zeros, you can actually cut them out as long as you're doing when you cut out one zero from the numerator, you have to cut out one zero from the denominator, okay? So you have 0.7 from method number one. Now method number two is, so you have 70 out of 100. Now you can do the same thing. This simplification method actually goes from method number two as well because now if you just write seven out of 10, it's gonna be simpler because we know that seven the decimal point's at the end, okay? Now, 10 only has one zero, so all you have to do is move it from right to left once. So really don't need to do anything else because there's only one zero in the 10, right? So you get 0.7 from method number two as well, okay? Now, our last example is going to be what if, now most of you, we know that when we say percentages, it's going to be out of 100, so the percentage has to be either 100 or less than that. What if you have a number that's greater than 100, so let's say you have 213%. First of all, is, is, is it a percent? Well, actually, yes, it is a percent, okay? So how do you, do, how do you find the decimal number for this? Well, all you have to do, same steps, okay? So 213% is the same thing as 213 over 100. Now, in your, for method number one, just do simple long division. So you have 213 divided by 100. 100 goes into 213 twice because 100 times two is 200. You're left with 13. Now you have to add a decimal point and a zero. 100 goes into 130 once. And you're left with 30. Add a zero. 100 goes into 300 three times. And you have your decimal number from method one of 2.13. So yes, this does prove that this is a percentage, okay? So you have a decimal of 2.13 for method one. You'll get the same answer for method two, but you'll just see how it's simpler, okay? So when you're doing method two, you have 213 over 100. So 213 here, again, whole number, Move it from right to left twice, so one, two, and you automatically get your answer. So you really didn't have to do all of that long division. So we get 2.13 from method number two as well, okay? 
So that's all I have for this video. I hope you guys um, learned how to change a percentage into a decimal. And as you can see, it's really simple because there's only really two rules, which is to convert the first percentage into a fraction and then just divide it, the numerator by the denominator, and you have your decimal. And I showed you guys two methods to do them and different situations. So you can have a two digit, so 56%, or you can have one digit, 5%. You can have like 70%, 60% in which you can cut out the zeros to make it simpler and you can have percentages that are actually greater than 100 but the steps remain the same okay so that's all i have and we'll see you guys next time bye